Today on the bench, we're gonna tie you up the eyes and tubes balanced stone fly. And Kenzie Cuthbert is the originator of the pattern, so I'm gonna get him to tie it. This fly has caught every species in the couch, and mainly the steelhead, the browns, and the rainbows. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a size eight jig hook, some six aught dark brown thread to tie with, some 14 millimeter 5.4 Y-tube black eyes and tubes for the eyes, some brown goose bites for the tail, some olive rabbit for the body. For the rib, we'll use some small brown vinyl rib, some brown thread for the thorax, some brown goose bites for the legs, and olive deer hair for the head. So one of the first and most important things about doing these flies is making sure that the eyes are put onto the hook properly. So what you do is slide the eyes onto the hook first. And there's a hole provided in every set of eyes. I'm gonna place the hook back into my vise. And now you'll notice that they're, they wanna hang down. That's really important, that when you put them on, that this is actually hanging down below the center of gravity or the shank, hook shank. I'm just gonna slide these out of the way and get my thread to start. So what I'm gonna do now is add a base layer of thread at the front end of the fly up near the eye end of the hook. I'm gonna go up and down the shank probably two, three times to get a good base layer to where these eyes are gonna be positioned. Half hitch just to tie it off. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my olive deer hair onto the front end, the head end of this fly. I'm just gonna do light wraps to start on the deer hair because if I pull too hard, it'll all uh, flare up as if I was gonna do like a a mother minnow or something head. So we're just gonna put that down like so, fold it down, and then I'm gonna trim just this little bit of excess deer hair off, ready to slide the eyes into place. Now my next step is I'm going to apply a bit of head cement over this thread and deer hair, and then I'm going to slide my eyes forward. Again, remember, making sure that the eyes are down. Now the way these eyes are, if, as long as I put it approximately an eighth of an inch ahead of the eye of the hook, this fly will be balanced. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure the eyes in place. I added some cement under there, and I'm going to use a 6 aught thread because I'm really going to pull down hard on this and squeeze these eyes in place because I don't want them turning. And make sure that they're even the way that you want them, so they're not twisted. And you can see by the plastic here, it's really squeezing down onto the hook, and it's gonna really secure these eyes in place. So now my next step is I'm gonna form a nicely tapered body from the eye end down to the bend end of the hook. So now my next step is I'm gonna add one goose by it per side at the tail of the, of the fly down here at the bend end. Make sure they're fairly even, and we'll just secure those in lightly. Next step for this fly is I'm going to secure some vinyl rib just down at the bend in end of the hook here, ready to go after I add my olive body. So now what I'm going to do is um, for my dubbing, just wrap it around the thread. This doesn't have to be overly secure because when you put the vinyl rib on afterwards, it's going to really tighten this stuff all down onto your fly. So I'm going to put this on in a couple of different uh, sections here, add a little bit each time. Make sure the body's tapered, makes a nice look to the fly. And again, moving this forward up towards the thorax of the fly. I'm just gonna put a half hitch in case I break my thread so I don't lose what I've done so far on the fly. We'll add one more little bit of dubbing here just to finish this off to the thorax. And again, I'm just gonna put a little half hitch there. So my next step now is I'm just gonna just trim a little bit of this dubbing, just clean it up a little bit. And I'm going to run my vinyl wrap here forward. I leave about, oh, maybe not quite an eighth of an inch between wraps. I'm going to come right up there to the thorax. And I'm just going to tie this off. So my next step now is just going to clip off this vinyl rib underneath. And then I'm going to start to add my final four bias. We're going to have two facing back towards the bend end of the hook. One on each side. Try to make sure they're fairly even, and I'm sure this is just strictly for our liking of the fly. I don't think the fish are gonna notice if they're equal. 
And then we're just going to add one more on each side at the front. And we're going to put these up over the eye. You can kind of line them up, take a look, make sure we like the angle. And the last one, just put that on this side. And while I'm doing this final part, just building up a bit more of a thorax, I cover up any bits of brown that I don't want showing through. And I'll just do a quick half inch whip finish there. And I'm just going to put a little head cement on that to hold that together. And there you have our eyes and tubes balanced stone fly, which has been just really killer lately on the couch. And to watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you would like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to ontheflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.